White supremacy is a poison. It's a poison. A poison the U.S. president says that has no place in America. Joe Biden in Buffalo Tuesday, visiting a makeshift memorial for the 10 people killed in a racist mass shooting at a grocery store over the weekend. He also met with the families of the mostly black victims. The suspect, an 18-year-old white man. What happened here is simple and straightforward. Terrorism. Terrorism. Domestic terrorism. Violence inflicted in the service of hate. Authorities say the suspect, who was arrested at the scene and charged with murder, appears to have written a 180-page hate-filled document outlining the Great Replacement Theory. That's a baseless, racist conspiracy that minorities are replacing white populations in North America and Europe. Biden calling it a perverse ideology and a lie that must be rejected. And I condemn those who spread the lie for power, political gain, and for profit. Buffalo's mayor telling CNN Tuesday the threat of copycat attacks now has local law enforcement on high alert. Already yesterday and the day before, uh, two people were arrested. Law enforcement is taking this very seriously and following up on any messages put out uh, looking, like they, uh, uh, looking like the individual or individuals are trying to copy or spread fear in our community. No clear or detailed policy announcements coming from Biden during his visit to Buffalo. When he was asked about gun legislation Tuesday, something that's been long blocked by Republicans, the U.S. president said, well, it's difficult. He won't give up trying. Melissa Duggan, City News.